and welcome back to my channel. And no, you did not read the title incorrectly. I really thought long and hard this weekend. Um, I don't know why I continue to just leave a B6 allergy. So here's what we're doing. I didn't want to get rid of this notebook, especially because it does have memories. And I love how this one is just completely set up. Only thing is missing is July. Now I know exactly where July is. It's in my A5 Stalogy, so I don't really care too much about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start August here. It is August 2nd. So I was kind of just figuring out what I wanted to put in, how I wanted to go about with this. But here we are. We're doing it. We're setting up B6 Allergy for August. All the usuals are printed. I have these uh, calendars from the Grumpy Tortoise. I printed out some headers for it because she did have a, uh, a misprint in the header and I'm hoping that this isn't too much. But, all right. Um, and then I printed this because it's my daughter's birthday this month and she loves space. So I'm gonna put that on my monthly to-do page. Um, but I have all those printed. I... I'm still debating between these two calendars. This one is from Coffee, Coffee Monsters Co. And this one is from Hello Petite Paper. These are both free in their Facebook groups. So, yep. I found this on Pinterest that I thought was really cute. And then I did this. If you remember from my old videos, I used to have kind of like a dash that would have the month. And then like a little paper behind. So, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so that's what it's basically going to look like. This is going to be the paper that goes behind this one here. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do things rather quickly because I do have a little bit of a time crunch today. So let me go ahead and get started and then we will continue talking. calendars are in so this is what it looks like so I have my checkoff calendar here my monthly dash and then a little kind of picture to go with it first calendar is for my appointments and events second calendar is going to be social media and then the last calendar is going to be um, my workout and personal wellness all that stuff um, I'm not doing a sticker a day in this particular setup just because I do have my A5 Stylogy that I'm using as a memory keeper that I'm putting basically my whole day as a sticker. Um, if you guys are unsure what I'm talking about. Um, so I have these here where I basically sticker out my day. I also have the highlights for the day. So I'm not really going to double that up in here. Um, what I am going to do now is add in my monthly stickers. So they are a tad on the big side. I was kind of, hmm. should I put it? Nope. All right, we're just gonna have to kind of fit it in here and it's gonna be on the calendar just a little bit. That's fine. I think it's the, the outline. I pretty much got a little bigger than I wanted want it, what I wanted it to be. But again, that was experimenting on the Cricut. So I don't think I've done like actual lettering, like printed out things like that. That's not a vinyl. 
So it's kind of experimenting with how much space to get. Okay, perfect. All right, so then the other thing that I'm gonna lay down is this gigantic sticker here for my monthly to-do. I'm gonna kind of put this here. Um, let's see. This will probably be a little bit, so I may just speed this up. Okay. Um, I don't know what I want to do on this page. I kind of didn't want to make a two-page spread, so we're going to leave it as is. Um, and then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and start my week. Um, like I said, I am just going to be doing a day per page. Um, I was prior doing this kind of setup here where I had what was going on through the day to do list and then all my memory keeping was on the side. Um, but some days it just, I felt like I had to really like write a lot and then some days I, I actually did write a lot but um that way I can leave a little bit more journaling for my a5 if I need more space but here like days like this I didn't even journal so if I don't journal I don't want there to be a full blank page um so I'm debating if I should just go ahead and yeah we'll just go ahead and set it up now um I do have my weekly trackers that I'm going to basically just designate on a landing page and go back to. All right, so let's see. I don't even know which, I didn't, I wasn't prepared to set up the week. Let's see if I have any date covers that I wanna use dark <coughs> Where are my deep cover um, no I think I'm gonna use this one because it's technically my last week home because I start back to work next week. So we'll just go ahead and use that. All right, let's see some washi. So this one's pretty. Mm, I'm gonna pick two. I think we'll just go with these two. So if you're wondering, I am still going to be using my passport, um, but I am just going to be using that as my wallet uh, running to-do list and grocery list. So I'm going to kind of stick with that just because I do like having that one in my purse. I think it's really nice to have in there. Um because it's small as it is, so it works. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. And Saturday, Sunday.
I'm just gonna alternate them on the bottom this time around. I gotta figure out how I wanna set up the washi because I really do like how I had it in the five stylogy. It's just, I don't have as much room. I think I put that one upside down. I don't have as much room in the B6 as I did in the A5 to kind of just put washi top and bottom and not make it look so crowded. So I just kind of have to experiment with how I wanna do that. But yeah, so I don't know. I so the main reason why I kind of rethought my whole planning system. I moved all my well, okay, I have a bookcase and I may show what I'm talking about um on my Instagram kind of as like a why I'm going back. Um I have a bookcase in my living room that's pretty close to where my son actually plays on the floor, like with his little like mat and everything. Um, and it's where I housed all of my previous allergies. Um, so I have all my B6 allergies from like 2020, like all just kind of sitting there. I have 2020 and 2021. And then I have the beginning book from this year. And I had to, they were on the bottom shelf. I had to move them up to the middle shelf with all my other books and kind of put some of his toys on the bottom. So he kind of like would play with those instead of climbing up the bookcase. So as I was doing that, I was flipping through all of the old stylogies and I was missing how I just had everything set up there and the style that I had that was just coming through there and I just, I missed it way too much. So um, I did buy a new stylogy that's coming in the mail, I think like tomorrow. But I figured I'm only missing a month here and I know exactly where that month is. So I may as well just finish off this book. So that's what I'm doing. Um, where's my pen? So it's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Six and then the seventh, which this is my daughter's birthday. Super excited. Oh man. She's turning nine. One more year and she's gonna be in the double digits. I'm not ready for that. So I'm just gonna put this uh, home sweet home sticker. I'm just gonna kind of lay some of these stickers around. Um Just kind of at the bottom. I think I'm going to stick with that. I wish that this had like a different variation of stickers. I feel like it's all the same kind. But I absolutely love the quality of um, Paper Monkey Co.'s stickers. They have got to be one of my favorite kinds, especially the transparent ones. Beautiful. And then for Sunday, I'm not going to use one of these. I'm going to use um, like a birthday sticker. Hold up. This sticker book from the Happy Planner has really pretty cakes. Okay. Um, so we can use this cute little rainbow one. Um, debating if I want to. It's also transparent, so I could kind of layer it. Okay. <clears throat> oh. 
<clears throat> All right. So the other thing that I'm going to do is I am going to um, draw a line down the side because I am kind of doing a more bullet journal type of journaling or planning, which is the one that I actually really like to do. And I love having the line. It just, I feel like it breaks everything up perfectly. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just give one box to the side. And I'm doing this in pencil because I don't want that thick of a line. I just want something enough for me to see that it's there. Now, when I go to plan this week, I am going to have to go based off of my, um, my A5 Stylogies calendar. <laughs> So I did fill that calendar in with what's going on this week. I also have to pull out my little bullet journal because I have a couple of notes written in there um, from yesterday. Because I'm going to kind of back plan um, yesterday the first just to put in here as well. I just didn't have the time to set this up yesterday because my son was home yesterday <clears throat> because he was kind of just sticking home. Let's just put it that way. He was just sticking home. So, yeah. All right. So let me pull out that A5 Stylogy here. Let it open to August. All right. So... I know that yesterday I did a target run. I'm basically just going to copy down my to-do list. So I'm going to skip Monday for now. Um, so today I do have to pick up my daughter. Uh, by 11. Tomorrow. Have light year on Disney Plus. Saturday is my daughter's birthday party. And then on Sunday is her birthday. All right, let's see. Which one is it that has all those cute little... No, it's not this one. All right, let me grab my other one. Ooh, and I got to hurry up because I got to get out of here. All right, so she is a big blue fan, so she's going to get this cute little teal. Um, and I think I'm going to add these babies off to the side, too. Um, so put that here, kind of add these about here. Yay. Oh no, I definitely need to add a cupcake. Just there. I don't really think I'm gonna have that many plans going on that day. Um, so, uh, the other thing I do have on Wednesday, um, my son has a checkup. And that is at 3.45. And then I need to remember to bring papers. I don't know what that means. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm going to be setting up for this week. So you saw my August setup. I do have to fill in my monthly, which I will get done today at one point. Um, but I absolutely love this. Um, I feel home. So I'm okay with the fact that I have to go from book to book if I want to look back at July, but it's no big deal. Um, so again, so here is my August checkoff, my August um, 
dash setup. I don't know. Hold on. I think I'm going to paper clip these together. Just so that they don't move. I will use the rose gold. I got this from Amazon. Like, literally, there's a million of them. Okay. I'm going to put this here. Just to keep together. Okay. So, I have that. I have my appointments, events calendar, social media calendar, um, workout, fitness, total wellness calendar. And again, I'll add some washi, but um, look on my Instagram for a final flip through of it. My August to do page or brain dump page. And then I'm starting off the first week. I'm going to put a piece of acetate here. I am going to wait until, no, I'm, yeah, I'm going to wait until I finish uh, filling in Monday. That way the tape won't disturb my writing. Um, so there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, I did miss this baby. So, um, and if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscription button guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.